The Avro Arrow, also known as the Avro Canada CF-105 Arrow, was a highly advanced and innovative supersonic interceptor aircraft developed by Avro Canada, Avro Canada, during the late 1950s. It was an ambitious project born out of the Cold War era and aimed at countering the growing threat of Soviet long-range bombers. The Avro Arrow was conceived as a cutting-edge interceptor aircraft designed to intercept and destroy enemy bombers at high altitudes and supersonic speeds. Its development began in the mid-1950s and the aircraft featured several groundbreaking technological advancements for its time. The Arrow's most distinctive feature was its delta wing design, which provided excellent stability and maneuverability at high speeds. The delta wing allowed for efficient supersonic flight and provided a large internal fuel capacity for extended range. Powerful engines, the aircraft was powered by twin Pratt and Whitney J-75 engines, capable of producing a combined thrust of over 50,000 pound or 22,679 kilograms. This propulsion system enabled the Arrow to reach speeds of up to Mach 2, twice the speed of sound. The Arrow was equipped with state-of-the-art avionics and electronics, including a sophisticated radar system and a digital fire control system. These technologies enabled the aircraft to detect and engage multiple targets simultaneously. The Arrow was designed to operate effectively in all weather conditions, providing Canada with a formidable defense against potential airborne threats. The Avro Arrow underwent a series of successful test flights, showcasing its impressive performance and capabilities. It demonstrated excellent stability, high speed, and maneuverability during these tests, earning praise from pilots and aviation experts. Despite its technological achievements and promise, the Avro Arrow program faced significant challenges. In 1957, the Canadian government, under Prime Minister John Diefenbaker, faced mounting budgetary pressures and concerns about the escalating costs of the Arrow project. Additionally, the emergence of intercontinental ballistic missiles, ICBMs, as a new strategic threat led some policymakers to question the need for an expensive interceptor program. On February 20, 1959, the Canadian government abruptly announced the cancellation of the Arrow project. This decision sent shockwaves through the aerospace industry and resulted in the scrapping of completed aircraft, the destruction of tooling, and the dismissal of thousands of skilled workers. The decision to cancel the Arrow program remains a subject of debate and controversy in Canadian history. Despite its short operational lifespan, the Avro Arrow's legacy endures as a symbol of Canadian innovation and technological prowess. The program showcased Canada's ability to develop advanced aerospace technology and compete on the global stage. The cancellation of the Arrow had a profound impact on Canada's aerospace industry. Many of the talented engineers and technicians involved in the project emigrated to other countries, including the United States, where they made significant contributions to NASA's space program and other aerospace endeavors. The aircraft itself became an object of fascination and admiration among aviation enthusiasts worldwide. Various artifacts and remnants of the Avro Arrow have been preserved and displayed in museums and aviation centers to commemorate its significance. Over the years, there have been occasional calls to revive the Avro Arrow program. Some have proposed constructing modernized versions of the aircraft using contemporary technology and materials. However, as of my last knowledge update in September 2021, no official project to resurrect the Avro Arrow had been initiated.
In summary, the Avro Arrow was an ambitious and technologically advanced supersonic interceptor aircraft developed by Canada during the Cold War era. Its cancellation remains a controversial chapter in Canadian history, but its legacy endures as a symbol of Canadian aerospace achievements and ingenuity. The Arrow's groundbreaking design and technologies have left a lasting impact on the development of future aircraft, and it continues to be celebrated by aviation enthusiasts as a remarkable achievement in the world of aerospace engineering. Comment below of which aircraft I should talk about next subscribe and like for more, it will help me a lot.